So what I'm going to do, Chad was just sitting behind this kit, and he did a great job of playing and demonstrating what's going on with this hybrid bearing edge. And uh, we're going to do a little more discussion about this later. But that hybrid edge, it's great because it's rounded on the outside, and then it comes to a 45 at the top. So what that does, that fits the profile of the head. When you think about how the head comes off that collar, it comes off at a little curve. It makes sense to seat that that way. You get a little bit of muffling from the results of that little hybrid edge, that rounded part. But then you take it straight down to 45, which gives you all that fat resonance and that great decay that you heard uh, through these drums. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration of that snare drum. The rest of the kit I'm leaving alone, but I took the snare drum up to where I play, which is kind of in jazz player's level, just to give you a little A-B between what uh, Chad showed you. But by the same token, just get another sense for the uh, sound and the resonance out of these drums. It's just incredible in the decay. So even, it, even with just barely touching it, it's still decaying. And that's sitting on a snare drum stand, so don't let anybody tell you that if you put the drum on the snare drum stand, it won't work. Not with these. You'll be fine. Here's your floor tom. Great decay. The drums are huge. Now I'm going to take the snare drum up. So that's where I play. 